Welcome to the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. This series will show you how to start a new project, use alignment points in your drawings, create and manage panels and other distribution equipment, generate and modify a one-line diagram, create light fixtures and receptacles, circuit devices, create and circuit equipment connections and switches, and perform point-by-point -point photometrics. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description at the bottom of this page. This video covers circuiting. Topics include connecting devices to panels, drawing home runs and loops, adding loads directly to panels, displaying load information on panel schedules, and calculating voltage drop for branch circuits. Let's get started. After placing devices such as receptacles on the drawing, you can connect them to a piece of distribution equipment using the circuiting command. In this dialog box, you can view loads currently on the circuit and make changes, from adding tandem breakers, to setting wire sizes, to arranging the circuits on the panel. To begin circuiting devices, select panel L1. Then circuit 7, and press the circuit devices button. From here, you can select one or more receptacles to add to the circuit. Press enter to circuit the devices. If you press enter once with no devices selected, the active circuit will increment to the next circuit on the panel. Connect the remaining receptacles to this circuit. Then press enter twice to return to the dialog box. The receptacles are now shown on circuits 7 and 9. To move circuited devices to a different circuit, simply select the circuit, press the circuit devices button, and select the devices. They will be removed from the original circuit and connected to the new one. Once you have devices circuited, you can use the Draw Home Run and Loops command to illustrate the connections on the drawing. First, select the device you want the home run to be drawn from. When you press Enter, loops to the other devices on the circuit will be drawn automatically and you will be asked to draw the home run. Press space or right click to change the arc. Sometimes you may need to place loads on a panel that can't be represented on the drawing. To set these loads, use the circuiting command. Select panel H1 and circuit 2. Then press the set circuit information button. In this dialog box, you can set how the circuit length is calculated, the circuit description, and the load on the circuit. Enter existing receptacles for the circuit description prefix, and 1.8 for the receptacles load. Then press the OK button. For circuit 4, We'll need three poles for this load. Press the Change Number of Poles button and set the number to 3. Then press the Set Circuit Information button. Notice how there are now description fields for each phase. Enter Existing Elevator for the Phase 1 description prefix and 10 for the largest motor load. Then press the OK button. Because changes have been made to the panels in the project, we should update the panel schedules we inserted in Part 2 using the Update Distribution Equipment Schedule command. Select the schedule for panel L1, and you will be asked if you want the loads between distribution equipment recalculated. If you select No, 
The values in the schedule will update, but the load values in the footer will not. If we run the command again and select Yes, the loads will be recalculated. The recalculation occurs across all distribution equipment and will be reflected the next time a schedule is updated, regardless of whether you select Yes or No. When devices are circuited, the voltage drop for the branch circuit is calculated. When you use the draw home run and loops command, the command line will display the voltage drop when you finish. You can also find the voltage drop of an existing circuit using the calculate voltage drop command. Select a device on the circuit and the dialog box and command line will display the voltage drop for the circuit. You can make adjustments to reduce voltage drop using the circuiting command. Press the Select Circuit from Drawing button and select a device on the circuit. When the dialog box reopens, the selected circuit will be active. Let's try changing the conductor amps. Run the Calculate Voltage Drop command again to see how the voltage drop has changed. Voltage drop for circuits is also displayed in the voltage drop schedule, which we covered in part two. To show the changes that have been made, run the insert voltage drop schedule command. This concludes part five of the electrical video tutorial series. In the next video, we'll cover equipment connections and switches.